2017 Toyota Avalon XLE review, one of the last cushy cruisers. I'm not sure if there's a term to describe it, but a given technology tends to reach the pinnacle of its development right before it goes obsolete. I'm sure there were some great high-fidelity cassette tapes hitting the market right before the compact disc arrived, for example. Likewise, the Avalon is proof Toyota has pretty much figured out the comfy full-size front-wheel drive sedan formula dot just in time for the crossover to attain complete family hauler market dominance. Imagine the nicest Camry in the world, stretched and slightly better looking. That's the Avalon, and it's got exactly what this segment craves, or at least needs, handsome if subdued looks, smooth, but hardly awe-inspiring, V6 power a surprisingly quiet and very functional cabin with good rear legroom, a huge trunk and a suspension that could very well set some sort of benchmark for the concept of comfort sprung. All in, this is an extremely comfortable near-luxury proposition with a $40k price tag. And from the overboosted steering to the roll in corners, I think the Avalon shameless cushiness is why I like it so much, and why, were I in the market for something like this. I'd feel perfectly fine not reaching for the Lexus upgrade. Aside from a perfunctory sport mode, this Avalon had zero athletic pretensions. You can get a theoretically sportier suspension with the touring trim, but would you want it? It is comfortable being soft where it needs to be, something which is vanishingly rare from today's Nurburgring obsessed luxury brands. In that sense, it is a little old school. There's plenty of onboard tech, though. So in that respect it's up to date, the XLE package gets you adaptive cruise control and lane departure, XLE premium adds a memory driver seat, blind spot monitors and a wireless smartphone charging pad. There's no tech derived wow factor, but I don't mind. Does it have, say, BMW's gesture based controls? Nah. Did I miss not being able to adjust the volume with a hand wave? Nope. The clean very functional cabin is probably more important than the exterior, but the outside is fairly well executed, too. The dual mandates of adequate rear legroom and a trendy fastback influence roofline take the Avalon, and other cars in its class like the Buick LaCrosse, dangerously close to AMC Marlin territory proportion-wise, this is most readily apparent in the rear three-quarter view. Yet aside from a few awkward angles, the Avalon wears its lines such as they are, with confidence. The Avalon is not a thriller by any measure, but that's not why it exists. It has a sort of quiet, very quiet, competence that might just make it the best in a segment that, admittedly, is not as hot or hotly contested as it once was. If you're not too terribly concerned about brand status or automotive athleticism, this is a very nice car, and that's meant as a genuine compliment. Graham Kosick Associate Editor Other Voices, Airport Transportation, but Fine Airport Transportation. This is among my favorite biggish cars, horribly underrated in my opinion. The powertrain is absolutely seamless, I got 30 plus mpg on the freeway back and forth to Metro Airport. The ride is soft, borderline too soft, but after flying across the country it felt perfect to my tired self. The interior is refined and well built, there's more than enough room. This could be the best interior on the market for less than $40,000. The seats are big and comfortable, perfect for my fat butt. My only beef with the cockpit is the too cheap feeling shifter. In fact that might be my only beef with the whole car. Otherwise all good. We've said it before but it is worth repeating, this is the Puramans Lexus LS. It could be the best passenger car Toyota makes. Wes Raynal, Editor. XLE. City, Highway. By Autowik Staff. On sale, now. Base price, $37,315. Powertrain, 3.5 liter Doc V6, FWD 6 speed automatic. Output. 268 horsepower at 6,200 revolutions per minute, 248 pounds to foot at 4,700 revolutions per minute. Curb weight, 3,461 pounds. Fuel economy, 
21 slash 30 20 fourths of a mile per gallon EPA city slash highway slash combined. Pros, probably one of the best non-luxury cars you can buy. Cons, not very exciting, or cool. Car Reviews